Hey guys and gals, Vlad here with the EVT Astro. Today we are talking about the subject of pouring your own concrete pier. Alrighty guys, so for this video I'm going to skip my normal intro because uh, digging holes doesn't have too much to do with it and concrete. Uh, but anyhow, if you want to make your own uh, telescope concrete pier, this is basically what you gotta do. You gotta start with digging a hole. Um, so as you saw me jump in this hole, this actually isn't like quite finished. About three feet deep currently. Uh, it's probably, I don't know, about like a foot and a half wide or so. Um, I've already done two footers for my uh, permanent pier that I have that's made out of steel. They were about the size. Currently it's mounting a 16 inch mid advanced coma free telescope uh which weighs you know with the mount probably like i don't know, like 250 pounds and the hole this size is holding it just fine uh you know soil conditions do matter a lot uh, so if you have like sandy soil or soft soil you may want to have a bigger hole uh, so do research on that Alrighty guys, and now that we're ta done talking about holes, uh, what am I doing here? What is this place? Uh, if you're not familiar, check out my intro video to my dark sky site pur property purchase. I'm posting the link above right now. Uh, so what I'm doing is making a permanent pier for this next dome observatory that's kind of hanging out over here. Uh, so this weekend, what I'm planning on doing is for sure pouring the pier. <laughs> um which you know we're going to be documenting for you and then uh hopefully i'm going to build a 10 by 10 deck around uh, it as well which the observatory is going to sit on top so stay tuned for that video Alrighty, guys and then just real quick a couple of uh, things you got to do before you start the fun process of pouring the concrete is uh, that you got to make a template uh for the j bolts that are going to go into the pier uh so you know you got to have that ready to go so basically what i did is i uh cut out this uh, which is 10 inches which is uh, the width of uh, my pier i'm um, out of plywood and then i am going to drill some holes in it so it's gonna go kind of like this and then uh, we're gonna put the uh, anchoring bolts in there and use this as a template all right and i'm just visually confirming that this is approximately centered i mean it doesn't have to be perfect but uh, you want it to be in you know, a reasonably close. Okay, yeah, I mean, that looks pretty good. Um, so I know we have our holes drilled here. Uh, I'm going to get the U-bolts, measure them, drill these out to the right size, and then um, you know later on I'm going to drill that thing out larger as well. Uh, so meet up with you guys in a bit. Alrighty, guys. So here's the template. It's all done. The anchoring bolts are in uh, i've done this before in the past uh you know like what i just showed uh you know just kind of marking like this works just fine i mean usually like you on the base plate you might want to drill out the holes a little bit larger than this you know just in case there's a little bit of misalignment which there probably will be uh but you know you don't got to get your compass out and like start measuring stuff scientifically this works just great done already guys and we're getting dangerously close to start and pouring the concrete but there's a, one other thing that we have to do that's prep work uh, and that is uh, setting up our rebar uh, i am going to put rebar inside the pier uh, to add to the rigidity and i guess it helps to prevent cracking by the way guys i'm not a trained professional in this so uh you know i've done this a couple of times uh, uh, but you know do your own research Alrighty guys, here's the final product. As I said, it's not going to be pretty, but it should work. Uh, so basically this is going to go into the, uh, to, towards the bottom in the ground, uh, and then the other rebar pieces, what I'm probably going to do with is uh, attach them to the J-bolts on that guy over there, uh, and then hopefully I'll still be able to sink it into the concrete, which I was able to do last time, and hopefully I don't hit, you know, like the tops of those. So now, uh, we are pretty much ready to start pouring concrete. 
So I'm gonna get, you know, my water jug set up. You know, keep in mind this is, you know, off grid. There's no running water here. I think I have enough water. I have 15 bags of uh, concrete, which is about uh, 1,200 pounds, uh, which hopefully will be enough. Uh, so, you know, wish me luck. It's a pretty big hole. Let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so we made it. We are to the fun part. We're about to start mixing concrete and dumping that sucker in there. So I won't bore you guys. I'll just do a couple of, uh, you know, loads. And then I'll kind of resume when I'm ready to pour the pier. Alrighty guys, so we got the base all poured, the rebar's in. Uh, actually, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, use the four remaining pieces that I have to kind of tie them into this rebar up here. Um, and then, so anyhow, I'll catch up with you guys uh, once I'm setting up the uh, sauna tube to actually pour the pure. Alrighty guys, so check it out. The rebar is in, it's ready to rock and roll. Uh, so I'm about to put this, uh, the so Sono tube uh, over the rebar, and then we'll get to leveling this thing out and start pouring concrete in there. Now I will say, um, I've read on the interwebs that you want your concrete to set for like roughly an hour. I mean, you don't want this to be like super fluid, you know, before you start pouring this. Uh, so mine, you know, it's it's uh, it's still kind of siding, but I've just kind of been doing some stuff uh, like I had to cut this thing down to length so I know I am going to set this thing up and start leveling this thing and uh, yeah we'll meet back up after it's all leveled alrighty guys so we're ready to finish up the pier so as you saw um, I have the sauna tube set uh, I have the support you know boards kind of laid out and these are just you know the deck boards or actually this is the frame for the deck that I'm gonna use uh, so they're pretty long kind of obnoxiously long I'd say but it should work uh, anyway so I'm about to start pouring the concrete and then the last step uh, is going to be to set you know the form that we have uh, for the template for our top plate. All right, so I'm pouring the concrete already. I did want to uh, point out that the way that I attach my support bars is just by screwing them from the inside with just one screw. Um, and from what I uh, have uh, seen online, you could just, you know, then tear out the screw, you know, when the concrete sets and it doesn't leave, you know, any marks or anything in the concrete. So that should work pretty well. And let me show you guys the whole setup here. So just kind of like a huge tripod essentially. And then, you know, grabbing the level, basically, you know, as you're pouring, you do want to check your level and looks like, you know, I'm doing pretty good. And, you know, obviously you want to do it from a couple of sides. Uh, so, yeah. All right, guys, the sun is about to set. This took way longer than I thought, quite frankly. <laughs> Uh, so I'm glad that I didn't have to run out to town to uh, get supplies or anything like that. But anyhow, so the pier is poured. Uh, as you can see, you know, it's full of concrete already. So groovy times there. Uh, one thing that I did want to point out. Um, the last few nights that I was observing here, or I guess the last night that I was observing here, um, I said, so this pole right here is pointing to, you know, like where, you know, like north is, true north is. So you do want to do that for, you know, especially certain configurations. Uh, for my particular configuration, you know, considering that I'm running a dome and uh, the, the Les Mondi G11 mount, it shouldn't really matter at all because, you know, I can rotate the mount um, on the top plate, uh, you know, any way I want. But for certain configurations, uh, you do, you know, definitely want to have true north, you know, like in a certain location. Alrighty guys, and before the sun totally sets, I am just going to set this thing in. Again, I'm going to set these things, uh, my, you know, uh, anchor bolts pointing kind of to true north, you know, as close as I could get them. Uh, but for my configuration, it doesn't really matter. It could matter for your configuration. So here goes nothing.
Okay, so that's in there. Um, the last thing that I would highly recommend doing is uh, leveling this thing out. And then, you know, before you kind of leave everything alone, make sure that your pier is still level because right now it's pretty, the concrete is fluid and it'll easily still move around. Alrighty guys, so success story. As you guys saw, I just removed the support post. This thing is already solid. It's probably been like, I don't know, not even 12 hours. Like probably like, yeah, like around 12 hours since I poured this. Uh, all the concrete is already pretty solid. So this is ready to stand up on its own. And now, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helps you out, you know, kind of give you an idea of how to pour your own concrete here. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please leave them in the thing below. If you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.